morning, Geneva. I am Matt Chubb. I'm the director of student success and also assistant baseball coach. There's my, my little fan club over there. All right. I want to start with Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will direct your path. Admittedly, it's a nice passage to quote, but can sometimes be really challenging to live by. Today, I want to talk to you about life's closed doors and God's unrelenting faithfulness. My first closed door encounter occurred in the summer of 2012. The United States Naval Academy had been a dream I had been chasing for years, ever since I entered high school. I was fascinated by a career in the Navy and pursuing one of the most prestigious educations in the country. If you're interested in applying to one of the military academies, it's a multi-year process that requires a great amount of focus and determination. I was entering my senior year of high school and pretty confident I had the resume to make the cut. After passing the preliminary tests and requirements, one of the final steps was to interview for a congressional nomination. On the morning of the interview, I barely remember driving to the location and had already sweat through my suit from all the nerves. After what felt like the longest hour of my life with my state representatives and various military leaders grilling me on all sorts of questions, I waited and waited and waited. Every day I would check my mailbox when I got home from school, hoping my nomination letter would be there. After weeks of anxious thoughts and impatient bargaining with God, I got my letter in the mail. I was not selected. What had felt like years of pursuing a very clear path and God aligning all these things to go right suddenly felt like countless years wasted and no clear direction. Close door number two. Fast forward to the summer of 2015. At this point, I was a Geneva College student who was totally invested in everything I committed myself to, especially baseball. I gave much of my time, energy, and passion to playing the sport I loved. During the summers, I'd go home to work and put in hours of practice preparing myself for the next season. One day after work, my friends and I traveled down to our local ball field and began to practice. When it was my turn to take some swings, I stepped into the box and got ready for the first pitch. During my first swing, my shoulder dislocated. With a jolt of pain and an unsettling numbness shooting down my arm, my days of playing baseball drastically changed. Thankfully, it felt like it was back in place, so I didn't think much of it at the time. And after weeks of rest and trying to let it heal on its own, I came to the realization that this was not going to be an easy recovery. The preceding year was filled with doctor's visits, x-rays, MRIs, cortisone shots, and physical therapy appointments. There were some days I would rush back to my room after class and get sick from all the pain I stored up in my body throughout the day. At this point, I was more concerned with simply regaining mobility of my arm, much less playing baseball. I became discouraged, defeated, and questioned God why this is happening to me. Closed door number three. After graduating from Geneva and working a few years in the professional world, the Lord was putting it on my heart to pursue working with college students. After lots of prayer and some faithful friends helping me discern my next career move, I became a resident director at Geneva in the fall of 2019. I had a unique start coming in a little late and felt like I was playing catch up for most of my first semester. And then this thing called COVID hit. Truthfully, this rocked my world. What I thought was going to be some of my most fruitful and exciting years of my life doing college ministry quickly turned into years I deeply mourned and wish I could get back. Sending students home, delivering meals to residents' rooms, which I don't regret, it was just a lot of, a lot of time consuming uh, hours there. Managing countless mental health crises, constantly reminding students to mask, and trying to remember which of my RAs weren't in quarantine that week. Although there were some good things that came out of that season, I was mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually drained. This is not what I envisioned my time as an RA, RD to be, and again, I question God, why me and why now? Okay, so those are a few of the doors that I saw closed in my life. Now let me tell you what doors God was faithfully opening. Because I didn't get accepted into the Naval Academy, God showed me that it was not about my accomplishments. God was teaching me how to release control of my plans. God led me to a college that I ended up truly loving and felt belonging, and spoiler alert, became my future employer. 
God introduced me to lifelong friends here that continue to encourage me in my faith. Because of my shoulder injury, God pointed out the idols in my life where I was prideful and self-centered. God taught me that things in this life, including my own body, are temporary. God showed me how to support others that were going through similar trials. God allowed me to enjoy the game again with a renewed sense of purpose and passion. Because of COVID, God grew my endurance and perseverance. God instructed me how to let anger and bitterness go. God showed me that he is the only real lasting joy. God opened up avenues for deep discipleship opportunities in the midst of difficult circumstances. God demonstrated that he faithfully provides even when I felt like I had nothing left to give. So what are your closed door moments? Did they leave you with disappointment, bitterness, hopelessness, frustration, confusion, low self-worth? Did you come up short, let others down, let yourself down? Did these closed doors leave you with more questions than answers? As you start this new semester, whether it's your first or your last or somewhere in between, give Jesus a chance to demonstrate his faithfulness. Let him show you how your closed doors might just be his open doors. I promise you that if you invite Jesus into these moments, he will not disappoint you. He will not give up on you. He will not turn his back on you. He will not stop loving you. And he will show you why he is worth trusting with all your heart. Amen.